Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. Last time on Ramblin' with Rusty, we went through the first quest in the Free Star Rangers quest line, and we earned our deputy's badge by tracking down some bullies who had been harassing a farmer on Montero Luna. And today, we're going to go ahead and continue on with that quest line. Our first stop will be to uh, Hope Town to speak with Mr. Ron Hope as we conduct a follow-up investigation to find out who's bullying the farmers, who's behind it, and see if we can't put a stop to it. So, without further ado, here we go. Now, in the meantime, I have traveled back to our outpost, as you can see here in this shot, and offloaded a few things and started a bit of an outpost. Well, actually, it looks like I built up quite a bit of an outpost there. But I think I had those already in place. So... We'll see. Mayday! Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, system's failing! Need help! I repeat, need help! Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Alright, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. That's a little interesting. Good to be back. Uh huh. Well, let's find her. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. Eh. Eh. Deputy Rusty Home just signed up. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the grand tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Eh. Well, I'll see if I can get you flying again. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Already? Eh. Thanks. I owe you one. Rangers always got each other's back. Okay, so first. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Sure. See, I'm already on this level, so let's do this repair first. I'm going to switch to a control system that actually works. Oh, hey. Put that away. Okay. Thank you. 
this one. So let's see the spaces we have here. This is a three by one engineering bay. Because of course they can't do a one by three. That just makes too much sense. Uh, that's probably the landing bay access. attached to that companion way and here we have a computer core a brig of some type mm. haven't seen this space yet in my uh, own stuff so all-in-one living quarters. Ooh, trauma pack. Eh, yeah, I do need that for this character. Access through the brig. Well, that doesn't make much sense. So this looks like a computer control station. And upstairs was well ah captain's quarters attached to a storage area and of course the uh, docking docker so yeah Nah, really all that much to be impressed with. Not really impressed with the brig piece. Kind of a waste of space. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Just tell me where they're headed, and... They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miasa. Good hunting. Yeah, those outlaws are as good as dead. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a pretty common bridge. I see it a lot. I have it a lot. <laughs> well... I don't know if I want to, this kind of feels like stealing, but I need those, so they're mine. Credits. I'll take the med packs. She can keep the other stuff. Okay. Up. I know there's some people that would just take everything they could out of here, but I don't feel the need to uh, steal from my fellow rangers. So I'll just take their credits and go. Where to next? A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend like forever. Yeah, I'm still looking for that one, Cora. I think that book might not be in the game. Okay. And yeah, we'll just kind of back away from our ship. And head on over there. Here we go. Hey, there they are.
Back to Polvo, I think. At least that should be where we're headed, yes. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Uh, yes. Okay, let's talk. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <sighs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time. I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. Wow. Okay. Mm. Mm, uh, that's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you, but Cora wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers, had a partner, Lillian Hearts. Well, we were like fire and ice, but uh, well, it wasn't all bad. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Uh. Well, you know, that's... Hmm. Well, whether you wanted to be a dad or not, you seem to have taken to it. It must have been tough. You seem to It wasn't it. always like it is now. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me. A father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew. I'd do anything for that girl. Well, that sounds like a pretty uh, standard father story. Mm -hmm. I knew you yeah, yeah, stop. big old mean Sam Cole loves his daughter. <laughs> Alert SSNN. You said Cora's great, and I think so too. But I see so much of myself in her. I've, uh, I've done things I'm not proud of. I've <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but is she gonna fall into the same traps? You know, every parent worries about their kids doing the same bad choices, making the same mistakes. Mm. Yep, now, honestly, they were going to find their own mistakes no matter how hard you try and keep them out of it. And protecting them is probably not such a good idea because you leave them unprepared for the world. Mm. Yeah, you've given Cora a solid foundation. You don't need to worry about this particular problem. That's really reassuring. I do the best I can by her. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming 
with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story, another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. <laughs> well, might be a good death place to go she gets, if it gets dangerous, but... You know, I doubt in this society she's going to get a better education than growing up with the Constellation. You think? Well, she does say the damnedest things. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. Yeah, that, that's pretty standard for uh, parents of children that age, too. Yeah. Not as bad as that sounds. Okay. Okay. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Mm. First things first. I How can walk, you? talk, and breathe without too much pain. That's good enough for me. Yeah, okay. Well, they, they did put up kind of a good fight. They got my shields down to zero. But they good. were in trouble. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Yeah, no, let's go meet with Mr. Hope. Nobody reported the theft. No, I weird? can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Okay, well, you know, I'll just meet you up there because you're too slow. As for part... All right, we're person. back. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but... The ranger has finally arrived. ...gotta be made upstairs. Hmm, well... Talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea. Provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> Ah, damn. Good to see you, Mia. I think we're done here, Burchard. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Yeah. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Well, justice would have been a lot sooner if you'd actually uh, reported it. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Yeah, throwing his weight around just like every crooked politician. Yeah. Yes, sir, Mr. Hope. You can count on me. Yeah, I'm aware of your position. I'm glad we understand each other. I'd take Ron Hope over Benjamin Bayou any day of the week. Looks like we got a job to do. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Eh, of course I do. A group of mercenaries hired a thief to steal your ship. 
Well, the ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Though no, what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Why, that's mighty white of you, Mr. Hope. Uh, let's see. Why didn't anyone report the Because fact? I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Well, that one I can't argue with. Mm, anything you need? No, to nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. <laughs> Anyone we questioned beef? everyone who was in the building when it happened. And not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. Yeah. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <clears throat> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Yeah, this guy just sounds like a crooked politician. No, I think we're Very well. There. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. You've got a reputation for looking after your own, Mr. Hope. I'm sure the deputy here will keep that in mind. Is that yeah. so? Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I've worked hard to make sure that everyone here is well cared for. Uh, I understand your position, and you can count on my discretion. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Boy, I'm laying that guilt on pretty thick. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yep, Neon. It's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger stationed there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Neon. He should be able to help you out. Jalen. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in Neon. Okay, well. Looks like Neon is our next stop. But there's a couple of... Well, there's at least one quest here I want to do. While we're in town. All right, Adela. Deep breath. Oh, God. Yeah, you don't look like things... Well, you wanted to talk right. for me to talk. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. I'm not sure what's worse than executed, but okay. Uh, Just two more weeks and I'll finally have well, where to start? Don't tell me what's wrong. So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? Can't say as I have. Hmm. Are you serious? Well, I, uh, <clears throat> it's gone bad for me. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Free Star Security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Well. So what were you I don't know. Shipping? I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. Hmm. Is I'm getting to that part. Sorry. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? I don't know. Uh... Why would I do Listen, that? Listen, I just haul, well, garbage. But you, I mean, you're armed and look, well, awesome. I figure you could do a solid for the little guy, uh, girl. Plus credits. I did mention the credits, right? <laughs> well, I can always use credits. I guess I'm sure. You are the in. best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to go over here. Um, why is that? Let's see, Galactic Import Export Markov, Captain Unknown Fahim, 400 ton slag steel, neon, destination pending, exception, waiver fee paid in full, provisional approval granted, express inspection passed. Okay, a 30 day exemption granted by Neon Port Authority pending full registration. Captain Unknown Fahim, Hotel Volley 1309B, Neon. Well, something tells me that there's a little more to this story than she's letting on. Okay, but we're apparently supposed to go talk Hello. to this guy. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? 
What's your name, stranger? Might buy you a drink. Hmm. Who are you? Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to tell me what he's up to until... Fahim, I, huh? Fahim. Came in on that ship to Markup? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Mm. Uh, bounty. bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies. Meant for orphans. Or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside on scene. I figure they're in the markup. Hmm. You gonna shoot me? Looks here? like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. <laughs> well, I wonder why. Eh. Yeah. 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 Surprised. They never see me coming. <laughs> but something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Well, do I want to tell them the truth or do I just want to say I'm tired of this? Well, Adele doesn't deserve Maybe. to add up. Maybe not. Everyone's after this shipment. Whoever hired you is uh, lying. The bounty is awfully yeah. large for what they're saying. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Mm. <laughs> There's no way they're ever going to settle for that. Ah, sucks to be you. One more drink and it's liftoff. <laughs> Ron hopes the best Isn't thing that to happened to us. This can't be happening. <laughs> I mean, out? maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. Yeah, really bad. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. You're right. I'll see what I can do. You're a literal lifesaver. Take this. Yeah. You know, as powerful as corporations are in this game, never steal from a corporation. I don't want to hear any complaints. Just bad news. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call that an episode for the night. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm. Have a good night. And don't forget to stop and smell the roses.